Hi, good day. Welcome to CMS. In this video, we'll continue the management and cost control for our project, and we'll go now for the for step 5.4, which is resources cost control. Before we already finished the overall cost control and we saw how to deal with it, now we need to go for the resources itself. Each important server resources required to make a control on it. Like what? We have materials and manpower. Materials like the concrete, steel, block, block mortar, tiles, tile mortar, plaster mortar, cement, black sand, and washed sand. So CMS will make an automatic cost control and the quantities control for these material. Further to the manpower control, which kind of manpower, which are the most important resources you have in your project, carpenters, steel fixers, masons, plasterers, and tile fixers. Why CMS is doing this? It is very important when you are making the execution to control your resources because actually your time program and your progress on site depend mainly on these resources if you cannot identify why your progress is or not in the best way you will have a problem cms will help you for this he will give you an automatic indication and a clear indication for all your important resources required on site he will tell you about your performance in material consuming and your performance for your manpower productivities and work on site. Accordingly, you will make the required actions and mitigation to enhance and improve your material consuming and your manpower productivities. So let's see now how CMS will deal with this. We'll start now with the materials. We'll talk for an example now material like the steel. When we click on steel, we'll ask you to follow these steps. Step one, click to run. Go to step two. Step two is to modify the percentage if required. Which percentage? These percentages. Actually, these percentages are equal the same percentage which we already inserted in the earned value. So mostly you are not required to change. Unless if you have a concern, what kind of concerns? Maybe you inserted in the earned value, you complete for the RC foundation, say 50%. For example, in your full foundation, you have a steel work and carpentry work. Maybe you are considering 50% of the work is a steel work and 50% is carpentry work. If you finish 100% of the steel work, that means you only finish 50% of the foundations. That means you will insert here in the earned value for the foundations 50% only. But actually, you are right, it's 50% of the foundation, but it's 100% of the steel work. That's what I mean, and that's why CMS leaving this for your discretion. If you need to modify against the earned value, you can modify it. Otherwise, not need to change. And this will consider only in the reinforcement concrete work. So that's for step two. You will modify this if required. Third step is to enter the actual quantities in the bank cells. Here, as we did in the old cost, we'll do here also in the resources. What are the actual resources? per week because each of this cell equal one week so you will insert here what the actual quantities came to the site and used in the work in this week so we'll insert now the actual quantities which we received and worked at site in this banks according to the which time we received and worked with so for example now we can insert here the actual quantities that's what we actual receiving on site in last month what else that's it you only insert this quantities according to the actual on site then click to render okay material performance report is ready 
Thanks for waiting. That's it. Now you have your report. So we have now this bar chart for seal work, the type of work and the activities which have a rebar work. Here is the planned rebar value for each activity. And that's the actual value which already consumed for each activity according to this data which we inserted. Accordingly, we have now here a baseline for consuming of the rebar every week, how much you have to consume according to the plan. According to the work schedule and the date of start and date of finish for each activity, CMS make for you a baseline automatically how you will consume the rebar every week. This will be weekly. So he giving, he's giving you an indication about your consuming of the rebar every week. At the end, you will have planned quantities flow. This for your reference to arrange your procurement according to this amount every month. He's telling you that you will, you will need the rebar from month four, and that's the amount every month. That's the plan. According to what? According to this bar chart, which is depending on the planned quantities and the planned dates. And according to the actual consuming, which you already inserted now, you will have the status report for the consuming of the repair here. You will have here steel quantity status for this date, the report till this date, which is the cutoff date. Here is telling you also about information about the project, the duration of the project, the current month. Here is the planned finish. Here is the planned value for the repair work. According to the planned value, we should complete 1,546 ton. But the earned value, which you already finished, is 1,343. That means we should complete work more than whatever we did. And this value cost us this quantity, 1,335. Why there is a variance here between the earned value and the actual quantities? Maybe there is a mistake in the calculation. Maybe you consider more margin, and during our consuming, we didn't make too much waste, so we save some rebars. Maybe you find some way to save some rebar. And the same if we have here the quantities, the actual quantities more than the earned value. That means you consume more than the required rebar in, in the other case. Accordingly, here the cost performance index is more than one because you already consume less rebar for more quantities, but you are in delay for the rebar work because you already because you already finished work of 1,343 and instead of 1,546. Here is telling what is the full quantities according to the plan. And then he is telling you also the forecasting. And also is giving us here two cases. If the CBI, which you already find it here, always unstable, we will follow this equation and that's the estimate at compilation quantity. If the CBI is stable, we will use this equation and that will be the estimate at completion. So you will choose here the case and you have to identify and to consider the case, either your CBI, as we discussed now, what the meaning of CBI here for this materials? This cost performance index is it stable or not? Is it the common of your work or not? If you found yourself, you are making this saving every month, so you can consider this your CPI is stable and choose case two. So you will step here and choose case two. In this case, he will give you what will be your estimate at completion. Your budget was 10,543, which is the amount which you shall finish and consume till end of the project. But actually, according to your performance, which is good, you will not consume all 10,543. No, you will consume only 10,000. 478. This is very important also for your procurement plan and for reviewing your project costs. If you identify that the CBI not stable and whatever you did this month or previous month is a special condition because of some del deleting of some items or changing the rebar size for any reason, 
and that's why you have saving in the report and maybe this will not happen again so you're not consider that cpi is stable and you'll go for the unstable which is case one then you will choose case one only he's telling you here what the consuming at the end of the project and what is estimated at completion here he's giving you the planned quantities flow how much you have to deliver every month and here is giving you the actual which you are delivering up to date and that's also a chart for the cumulative values you can change the format of this chart if you like that's for the rebar the same will be for all kinds of the civil resources you will do the same in the concrete you have here all the bar charts and all the activities which have concrete here is the planned value for each activity and has here the consuming every week you will insert also the actual you will follow the same steps at the end you will find the report which is telling us you about your performance for consuming this material and is telling you also what is the estimated ad combination for this material instead of the planned quantity whatever will be the result you will take the action accordingly if you don't have a good performance in consuming of this material you have to take an action a mitigation action or you have to find the reason for this kind of wastage the same for all several material resources block work have the same the block mortar we have the same tiles we have the same tile glue we have the same plaster mortar which is the ready mortar we have the same cement the same black sand and watch sand you have these 10 types of materials which is most important materials and the resources for using in the construction projects and now we'll go for how to make a control for your manpower resources we'll take an example for the steel fixers here you'll find this schedule of the WBS the activities which related to the steel fixers work here's the planned working days for each activity how many working days for steel fixers and how many working days for their helpers and how many total working days for each activity accordingly and according to the project schedule same is divide all the required man days and then distribute it on the period of each activity per week so we have this man days weekly as a planned consumption here we have the earnings value what is the percentage of the completed work the same as we spoke about the material of the concrete and the steel fixers these values are the same which were inserted before in the earnings value but if you have a concern as we informed before in the reinforcement concrete work you finish 100% of the repair but you didn't finish 100% of the shutterings maybe 50% of the all the RCC foundation but actually finish 100% of the steel but still the concrete so you insert here the actual completed for the steel work or to modify if required here is the duration and the plan start plan finish which theme is uses date to distribute all the member and make a baseline for this resources and here is the actual start and the actual finish according to your actual start and finish on site and which you already inserted before in CMS in the actual dates. So you will follow now. Step one, click to run. Go to step two. Step two, which is telling here for modify the progress if required, as we informed now. Then we'll go for step three, insert the actual quantities in the bank cells, which is here. According to the consumption in weekly basis, you will calculate how many man days we consume actually in weekly basis and we will insert it here so according to our actual we need to insert the total man days we'll insert here the password cms in our case and then we'll 
insert our actual mandates per week. That's the weekly mandates. At the end, we'll find here the actual is 6,500 mandates. This is a steel fixers plus their helpers. But the plan here for this activity is 6,684. So we have some saving here. The same also for the strap beams. We'll find any other activities we completed in this month or not with the steel fixers. No, nothing. So now we have to go for step four, which is click to render. Okay. Remember our performance report is ready. Thanks for waiting. Now we have the bar chart, which have the planned and actual every week for each activity. And we have here the total. The same in the material. We have here the plan, but what shall be consumed every month. And what is the actual? Here we have some data also, also for the project. The planned value for the seal fixer till end of last month, 8,383. But the work which is already done should consume 6,730, but we consume only 6,549. That means we consume less than the required. And we did work less than the plan. So we have a cost performance index. Is good because we did we consume amount less than the required, more than one. But the schedule performance index is very is less because we didn't reach our planned value of the work. Accordingly, CMS give us here our performance for the cons for consuming of the manpower, which is more than one, which is perfect. The CPI is more than one. Either this CPI is unstable or stable, as we said before also. If the condition is normal conditions, so you will consider this CPI will be will be repeated again every month and you will have this CPI every month. In this case, we consider that will be stable and the choose case two. He's telling you here, your estimate at completion will be, will be 62,305 instead of 64,027. So you'll have some saving this time. So instead of 64, you'll have a 62,000. And you still need 55,756 man days to finish your rebar works. If you are not sure, you will repeat this CPI again. So you will go for case one, which telling you, you will consume 63,846 man days instead of 64,000. That's how CMS will give you performance for the seal fixers. The same can be repeated for all other manpower sources like carpenters have the same concept. The block masons have the same concept. Tile fixers and plasters. Who is doing for you the plaster? So CMS will give you a proper indication for your consuming of manpower and for your manpower productivity to take the required mitigation or recovery action. Next, we'll see how CMS will give us a dashboard concluding all the monitoring and forecasting which CMS did for us. He will give us in one dashboard conclude all this in one page and it will be very easy to to take a sharp information in one page one of the most important outputs from the management and cost control step which is here the dashboard 
is the brief and the conclusion for the performance monitoring, which is very important to be produced for our quick review. Let's click it. We'll find CMS will give us this kind of dashboards. The first one is the dashboard for the progress and schedule, which can be presented for the consultants or a client if you are a contractor and if you don't like to present your actual budget for your project. So this is a dashboard for the progress only, which is giving us here the S curve for the progress baseline every month, what is the planned progress percentage. And of course you can modify and format as you like. Here we'll find the planned value again is the earnings value. The blue color is the planned value and that's the earnings value for every month. Now we can identify that we are in delay. Here is the schedule variance for every month. Here is the SPI also for every month till the month six, our current funds. And this one is the S curve for actual or forecasted progress. The blue color is the plan, but this black color or the grayish color is the progress and the recovery. And it's telling you here what the forecasted S curve if you still in this delay. And here the SPI, Schedule Performance Index for the project for every month till the current month. And this one is very important. You have to keep your eye on it during your monitoring to see what is the track of your recovery. So this value must be increased every month. If you increase it every month, you will catch and you recover your program. If it's not increased, you will not recover your program. So you have to keep an eye on this every month to know how is your performance in mitigation and recover your work. Because this is telling you what's your, what's your effort to mitigate your delay. Here we have the indication for your progress. Same is divide the, divide this gauge for a red zone and the yellow zone, which is telling you you have to be ready and take care, otherwise you'll be in the red zone and you'll be in critical delay. And the green zone, of course, which when, when you are ahead or within the schedule. You have one exercise here you have to do according to your company policy. You have to tell CMS when you will be in the red zone according to your discretions, according to your company policy, when you are in the red zone. What is the value of the SPI? If you reach for it, that means you will be in the red zone. By default, CMS consider here, if the SPI below than 0.95, that means you are in the red zone. If the SPI is in between 0.95 and 1, that means you are in yellow zone and take care. If you are above 1, of course, you are in the green zone. So now you have to tell CMS what is the yellow zone for you. By default, it is 0.95, but if you consider it like 0.9, to change this one, you have to insert also the password CMS in capital letters for our case. So when we change this one, if you need it to be 0.9, you'll find now the yellow zone is increased. And now because the SPI now is 0.913, so that means you became now in the yellow zone instead of the red zone. So this is according to your company policy and according to your discretion and according to the amount of the penalties. Because the delay means penalty. If the amount of the penalty within your contingency and within your budget, you will calculate the maximum amount of penalty which you can pay to still in the budget. And by this way, you will identify the value of the SPI, which make you in the red zone. This is one. Okay, so when we look for this, directly you will know where you are related to the progress. Here is an indication for the actual progress. Again, is the balance to be completed. This chart is telling also what is the actual completed work here and the planned completed work. And the narrative here telling about the commencement date, the planned finish date, the forecasted finish date, here is the actual versus to the planned, what is the variance between the actual and the planned? We find here it is minus 0.36, 
percent, which is the variance between the actual and the plan. And here is the duration variance, which is 13 days in delay. The 13 days of delay, which are equal 1.44% out of the total project duration. So the 13 days, it's equal 1.44 of the 900 days. Per minus, of course, we have a delay with 1.44% on the schedule. So we have an SPI with 0.913, but we have a minus 1.44% on the schedule. Also here, there is an indication, either green or yellow or red. Also, you have to insert for CMS, what is the value which will give you a red alarm? Also, you have to consider the maximum penalties and preliminaries which you can be occurred or consumed and same time will, will keep you within budget. What is the amount of the contingency? You already keep it for these cases and same time to keep you within budget. This is very important. According to this amount and this and your company policy, you will put this percentage. By default, CMS will consider it here by minus 5%. Because minus 144 is less than minus 5, the alarm in yellow. If you consider it with minus 1, the alarm now came red because minus 44 is less than minus 1. So that's the dashboard for the progress. There is another dashboard related to the cost, which is telling you also here the cost baseline versus the recovery plan. Here is the blue. Also, you can remove the labels if when you when you need. So here it is clear now what is the plan and what is the actual S curve according to the cost. Here is the earned value versus to planned value, but in money wise. And that's the earned value versus to the actual cost. This is the cumulative and the amount every month. And here is telling the scheduler variance also by money wise and the cost variance for every month. As now we are above this line, that means we have this kind of cost saving. That means we have a positive cost variance up to date. The same here, we have the monthly CBI, cost performance index, telling us our progress in mitigation, our cost. This is also very important. We have to keep an eye on it to understand the progress every month related to our cost. The same also here. We have here the gauge of indication. Also, we will insert when you will be in the red according to your company policy and according to your calculations as we informed before in the SPI. As now the CBI is more than one, so we are now in the green area. This is a very important indication. It can give you a quick figure where you are. This amount telling you about your budget, budget at completion, and, the, and what's now estimated at completion. The new cost at completion. This bar chart also is very important and, and it's a quick indication. Here is the budget at compilation. Here is the blend value up to date. Here is the earned value up to date. Here is the actual cost up to date. All in one figure. You can modify it as you like. Accordingly, that the estimate at compilation and that the estimate to compilation. We have here an alarm which is telling us about our situation now. Here is that the budget at compilation, which is the budget, and, the, and that's the estimate at compilation, which is more than a budget at compilation with almost 2 million, as we saw before in the status report. We can notice here that in the CBI or in the cost performance index, we are within budget and we have a good progress in the uh, in the cost but the alarm here is not green we are in the green zone yes but but the alarm here is not green it's in yellow why 
because we are in delay. Again, CMS incorporating the delay in the progress with the schedule performance index and the cost performance index. Yes, we are, we are within budget and our CBI is good, more than one, but because we are in delay, that means we will pay something more. And whatever will pay more are more our progress in the cost saving. Yes, we make some cost saving in some, in some areas, but because of our delay, we will pay more. And it is clear here. That's a very good example for this situation. How CMS incorporates a delay on schedule with the CBI and the SBI. Also, we will mention here for your for the project contingency. So it's preferably to keep this number as your considerations in the contingencies. If you consider a three percent as a contingency, keep a three percent. If you consider five percent, put here a five percent. That means when you are still when you are from zero to minus five percent, you will have a yellow alarm. If you go less than this contingency, that means you are in the red zone. So this three percent of what? The three percent of the total amount. For example, now we have variance in the cost with minus one point nine million, which are 0.76% from the total amount. So this variance at completion, which is the amount will pay more, equal 0.76% from the total budget at completion. So that's why we received a yellow alarm. That's the dashboard related to the cost. There is another dashboard also related to the material and manpower. A very easy way and automatically CMS will give us the indication and the alarm for each type of the civil material and manpower. For example, here we have we have here the concrete per cubic meters, the planned value which shall be completed up to date is 4316, but the earned value, which is the amount of the completed work, is 3832 and it's completed with actual quantity of 3940 that's why we have variance here at completion will be minus 107 cubic meters according to this extra concrete accordingly that's the quantity at completion which already as per the budget and as per the baseline 41170 but because of this lose the estimate at completion will be 41,278 cubic meters. This is very important to have an indication for our concrete consuming and also to allow us to make our investigation to know what are the reasons of this loses. Here for the rebar, the planned value which shall be completed 1,545, but the earnings value which are the completed work up to date and the planned to be consumed. 1,343, but it's consumed only 1,335. That means we have saving in the rebar. The quantity at completion, which is the rebar, which is the planned value till the completion of the project, 10,543, but the estimate at completion will be 10,535. We have positive variance at completion with 8.3 ton, which make almost 0.1% and give us a green alarm. The same for all kinds of the civil materials. Here is the reason for all terminology. The same CMS did for the manpower. CMS also will give you these indications and make for us the required alarm. For example, for the steel fixers, the planned value, which the planned man days, which should be completed up to date was 8,338, but the earned value, which is the amount of the man days, the actual completed percentage is 6,730, 6, but the same are consumed only 6,549 man days. And instead of consuming 6,730, we consume 6,549 man days. That means we save 181 man days up to date. 
the quantity at completion, which is the, the total blend man days of steel fixture till, till completing the project is 64,027. But according to this saving up to date, the estimate at completion will be 63,846. The same concept for the other manpower, like carpenters, like masons, steel fixers, plasterers, and all will give us monthly reports telling us the indication and the status of all of them. So, CMS now give us a dashboard for progress, as we inform it, and cost, and materials, and manpower. This all for direct print monthly. That's for the dashboard. Let's discuss now the required steps for mitigation and recovery, the schedule of your project. Suppose you are in delay and you need to mitigate your project to be again on track. For example, according to the latest report, status report, you have 16 days delay due to delay in one activity, which is which is delay in the excavation. Instead of finish in 24th of March, you finish in 7th of April. According to this delay, the project will delay for 16 days. And you decide to mitigate and recover this delay by crashing the project and update your program by starting the block work in its planned time. So you will consider here will start the block work in the same date of the plan, which is 22 June. You will find here the parallel chart will be returned back. And also when you go for the report, status report you will find here no delay now and here you will consider that you apply a mitigation and you will find here those percentage here is the actual completed percentage 5.94 and that's was that shall be the plant which shall be 7.35 but actually we finish only 5.9 or, and according to this mitigation, there is another number appears here, which is the planned recovery work. To recover the project as required, the planned percentage to be completed is 6.03. So that's the actual, that's the original plan, that's the revised plan. And this will appear for you to give you the required percentage according to the revised plan. This also will be presented in the dashboard. As we see here, now we have a variance between the plant and recovery, but at the end, both are reached together. And here you will find three bars showing the actual, the original plan, and the revised or recovery plan. That's how CMS will present for you the required percentage of the new plan or the revised plan if every month. This for your information to take your actions accordingly. By completing explaining the dashboard, we already finish all the steps of how to deal with CMS. Let's brief now how to deal with CMS. That's our main page. Start with the quantity surveying. We insert all the required data for the CMS. At the end, CMS gives it to us a material takeoff. Then we go for step two, which is the cost estimation. We inserted the resources prices. And CMS gives to us automatically activities cost breakdown. And we learned how CMS will help us in adding the overhead and profit. Then CMS automatically gives us priced bill of quantity. Then we jump for step three, which is the schedule. And we, we understand also how to deal with the schedule and how to insert the required from our side by inserting the commencement date and the holidays and uh, modify the productivity and how CMS will develop the schedule and developing the cost baseline and the cash flow and manpower histogram. At the end, we'll have the full budget for the project and schedule. Accordingly, we understand also how CMS made it for us a visibility study. And during execution, 
we understand also how CMS make for us app management and cost control by very very less input and efforts from our side and at the end how CMS give us all the required data for our project monitoring and controlling like this we already completed everything related to CMS I hope to be very useful for you and I hope really to save most of your time by using CMS in case of any feedback don't hesitate to contact me directly on our website make a proper practice watch the videos can ask me anytime directly for any kind of difficulty of using CMS and keep on contact on CMS website and good luck thanks for watching all these videos and see you bye